Yep, come here. Stay behind the tree. Behind the tree. Oh. Jeez, dude. You just gotta give me a <laughs> heart attack at the start of the video. At least that's some good meat we can cook up. Hi, howdy gamers. We're back. A night in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. This is Stalker Gamma, a mod pack for Stalker Anomaly, which is a conglomeration of the three main Stalker games. And I like making these videos because a day in the zone, a night in the zone, it doesn't really matter. This game is always very dynamic. It always throws different things at you, and depending on where you are gear-wise, where you are on the map, every single day in this gaming experience is very different, and I'd like to bring you along for just one night. I need to uh, buy a better field cooking kit though because mine does not cook big mutants. Um, it just cooks lesser mutants and also I need to cook this chimera meat because I have no other food. So starting the video hungry and thirsty, my stalker has survived this long to almost run out of food thanks to its great controller which is me. Sorry, buddy. All right, go in here. This guy, he sells most supplies, so I should be able to find, yep, multi-fuel stove and kerosene. Kerosene. And I'm gonna sell you my stove because I don't need that anymore. Thank you very much. All right, let's cook some of our food really quick. And, oh, wait, I can cook it with vodka and it'll cook a little bit better and give us some added bonuses. That's the cool thing about Stalker Gamma is that the crafting system, the cooking, the weapons management especially, has a lot of grittiness to it, a lot of grain. Uh, it's very granular. You can do a lot just by adding, let's say, one bottle of vodka to this, and it gives you a purified meal, which gives you bonuses. Or you can cook a non-purified meal, just zone produced, and it won't give you those bonuses. So we just cooked two meals worth of food. One gives us um, a good bit of stamina recovery. Also, it gives us a boost to our maximum weight. This one, just as food, because one we use vodka on, the other we didn't. But in today's episode, we're not gonna be just cooking and uh, doing a Ratatouille episode. We're, we're going out into the zone, and I'm just showing you a random night in the zone. I did a video last time that was called A Day in the Zone, so now this one's A Night in the Zone, I guess. You get it? Um, I'm creative, I try to be. Um, in my game, my current game is set to hard difficulty with the survivalist mode, so that means progression is very slow, um, and hard means that enemies as well as uh, uh, bad mutants and monsters do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna eat this food. I'm gonna eat the lesser food right now. I feel like we're gonna need the better one later. But I'm going out into the world. I can only quick save at campfires. And uh, yeah, that's the rule set for tonight. We're gonna see how we do. I apparently have lots of vodka. <laughs> More vodka than water at the moment. Which is pretty good because our suit does not protect against rats very well. We have this graphite stalker suit where we've got a double barreled shotgun, an AKS, and a grok. A grok I just got because I haven't had a pistol until now. I just had that double barrel over under. Uh, but the grok is very, very nice. It's a really nice pistol. I can do inspect animations with this mod. I double click F and boom, there it goes. Kind of neat. Yeah, take in the skybox in this game, man. You can see the stars up there? You kind of forget you're in a deathly zone that's trying to kill you at every step whenever you look up at the stars, and they're the same stars you see every night in real life. Should I shut up yet? I probably should. He wants a sleeping bag. I'll try to find you a sleeping bag. I've got a few stashes here in the army warehouses right now. Um... One is down the road to the left, one's in the Bloodsucker Village, it's apparently in a toilet. And then I've got another stash in Army Warehouses. I really like Army Warehouses, you guys know that, so we'll probably hit that up after we get these two. But stashes are a main way to progress in the game. 
they give you a uh, here. I have to, I have to light the campfires to save them. But uh, stashes are the main way to progress in Gamma, or one of the main ways. Uh, they give you rare loot that you wouldn't find elsewhere. There's standard stashes as well as very nice stashes, and you get them as, or you get the locations of them as per uh, a reward for doing standard quests. But also, we aren't going to be using just our flashlight tonight. We're going to be using this uh, good old PVS-14 monocular. This thing is old. This thing, this is a, this is a grainy tube, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, this this PVS-14 in this game, or the first night vision goggle you get in Stalker Gamma, uses a uh, a mod called Beef's MBG mod. It's one of the best recreations of night vision I've ever seen in a game. Except for the fact it deletes this one red dot. <laughs> it, or it, do, it doesn't really delete it. It's there. It's just dark for some reason. But super, super cool. A lot of that white sparkle all over the image as well. Let's hope that it's good enough for us to, uh, or to help us spot any bloodsuckers in here, though. And because we're in the bloodsucker village, I'm pulling out the double barrel. This place is spooky. You see those white worms, those are uh, just bloomed out by the night vision goggle, but those are fire anomalies that like to run around this place. You just gotta watch out for them, because they will toast you. Let me see exactly where this toilet is. It's to my front left. The toilet is to my front left. And there's lights here. Who is here? Loners. Okay, jeez. What are you guys doing just standing out here at night? This is not the most inviting place. Oh, well it's good I walked out of the house. <laughs> uh, is it in the basement? It must be in a basement. Cause there's, oh, oh no, it's here. It's, it's here. Okay, stash is in the, that would be a really stinky stash. In here? Okay, we got a field, uh, Armor toolkit, we almost just got toasted. Nice. I even saw a fight. Yeah, I'm on fire. What? I think we're fine because we were in there, but we probably won't be next time. <laughs> I was literally on fire. I swear I'm not god voted or anything. I just, just caught on fire for a second. All right. We're making a video soon about night machine goggles in video games. I made one a long time ago, but I kind of just didn't like it. So this is sort of the precursor, because I wanted to ask you guys a question in this video, uh, in preparation for that video, and that is, what is your favorite game that has night vision goggles in it? What's the most iconic, like when you think of night vision goggles in a video game, what's the first game you think of? Comment it down below. I'm not just doing that for the algorithm, I promise it's going to be the next video. Your favorite game with night vision. I'd be most interested if if you have like if you have a memory of an old game that had night vision in it, like old old games. I'm talking like the first Splinter Cell or Perfect Dark or something. Don't just say don't just write it down because I I just mentioned it. You got to think. What's the first game you can think of? You know. But uh, nighttime is special to me. I really like nighttime. I've always been when I was really little. I was always super scared of the dark um, just never really admitted it but then I got into airsoft and airsoft even when I was little was commonly outside when the sun would go down it'd be nighttime and uh, oh, luckily we got some moonlight to the clouds so we've got some nice little shadows here look at that reflection on the gun oh yeah that's super neat that's super neat um, but yeah nighttime was something that you commonly would have to go through when playing airsoft. Yeah, you go over to friends' airsoft parties and stuff, and you would go out to a private ranch, and a lot of them would have sleepover airsoft parties where you wouldn't sleep inside. You'd sleep out in the woods at night. And so I really quickly got used to nighttime. And it's always so interesting to me whenever I bring someone that isn't used to nighttime out at night to, you know, go shooting with night vision goggles or just to, like, maybe camp or something. Um, 
and how scared they are of nighttime. And I've spent a lot of time in recent years not really airsofting as much, but going out and hunting at night by myself. And you get to hear all these spooky noises, and you just, uh, I don't know. Over time, the sounds and uh, mystery of night never really went away, but it's fun to, uh, I don't know, it's fun to go out at night and feel that little bit of tension, because you never really know it's out there. Back when I did Airsoft, though, I, uh, Airsoft was a big thing in my town. There were a lot of high schoolers that, that Airsofted. Uh, I would say at that time they were like freshmen and juniors in high school. And uh, I was a middle schooler, so I was ninth grade, eighth grade maybe. And my, I, there was a team in my town called Echo Team. And it was led by a guy named Steven. And Steven was a uh, big guy, muscular, super crazy, super uh, courageous uh, <laughs> about everything in life. But he was the leader of this team, of the Echo team. And I was the, the kind of just like, not really leader, but like a group leader of another little team. And we joined Echo Team for a lot of different uh, airsoft operations that we did. And in one of them, I was at a ranch, um, <laughs> a private ranch, where we had a pretty big game. It was like 20 or 30 people. Not 20 or 30. It was like maybe 15 people total. But it felt big at the time. Especially in the nighttime. That's that's pretty big. Um, oh, these nods are so good in the moonlight, man. They're, they're pretty useless whenever there's no moon, but right now there is a perfectly full moon up right for us, right for the nighttime video. I didn't time that, I promise. That is coinkadink. But our nods make it look very nice. But, uh, go back to the story. We were all sleeping, and uh, we were sleeping on the side of a ravine where it was kind of rocky. It was like this cliff had kind of fallen over. Or all these big, big boulders. This is in the middle of Texas. And it was a pretty warm night, so we could just sleep on, like, whatever. Like, you put a mat down, you could sleep on it. You don't even need, uh, like, a blanket or a sleeping bag or anything. And, um... Oh, I see... Cats. Yeah, those are cats. Sorry if you can't see through the noise, but there are some cats. And there's Freedom here, who just saw some small arms fire in truck cemetery northwest helicopters. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> at one point in the night, the enemy team discovered our camp and began firing on us. And, uh, I start... I, I think I was the first one to return fire. I was sleeping on a... like a... I think a rubber mat or something between two rocks and I jumped up and I started firing. I had this big M16 style rifle and uh, Steven, the leader of the Echo Team, he was a crazy guy. He actually, he was actually asleep. He wakes up. <laughs> He's in full kit. I mean, we were, we were all in full kit. You slept with your, uh, with your glasses on because you could get shot while you were sleeping. That was the rules. He wakes up, he, he, like a 90 degree angle, he sits up out of his like cot, I think, that he had, or no, it was he was just sleeping on the ground. And he goes, bitch, you woke me from a slumber, and he sprays into the forest with the fastest rate of fire gun I had ever seen. And it was just the funniest thing to me as a kid, just Steven jumping up saying, bitch, you woke me from a slumber, and then just spraying into the trees. Like, it might not seem that funny to you, but that was like a, a very, uh, that, that memory goes into my brain once a week at least. Just, I just think it's really funny. Is this a, uh, let me check if there's any artifacts here. While we're here, might as well see. There's some rads here, though. Definitely some toasty rads. Ooh, and some heat damage, I think? Is that heat? I don't know what that was. Maybe that thing's hot or something. Turn the headlamp on. So I can 
and see if anything jumps me. Yeah, no artifacts, at least here, in this initial spot, but, uh, oh, I walked past the stash. Yeah, I mean, dude, I would love to get back into Airsoft again with a small group of gamers. Like, Airsoft at, you know, big events is always fun. I think I'll get back into Airsoft at, like, Milsom West, for example. I don't think I'll do much more pickup games, things like that. I just kind of, I don't know, didn't, didn't like them too much as of late. But I, damn it, I walked past it again. Where is it? Is it is it on that tractor? It must be on that tractor. Or somewhat close. I just hate standing here because I know I'm getting irradiated. Oh, is it in here? Oh, it's in there. Ooh. Two different suits. Um, both are, I'm pretty sure, better than mine. What's mine? Something's hitting. Something just hit one of the artifacts, or the anomalies over there. Okay, and the cats are getting closer. I need to choose now. I'm going to take this one because it's lighter. We can come back and get the other one at any point, too. Pretty sure. I don't know if those respawn. Even if they don't, though, it's not too big of a deal. There it is, battery. Woo, okay. Throw that in there. Thank you. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so my next big thing is I want to go to Dark Valley because I've got three stashes there. One's in the bandit camp. I want to avoid that. Probably just don't even want to try that. And then there's two to the south I do want to grab. I mean, look at this. Look at the moonlight reflecting off the over under. Come on. You can't tell me this game isn't cool. Something's growling up ahead. I think I see it. It's in the trees. I need to get out of the rads here. I think there's quite a bit of rads here. That's the problem. And I love how dark the game gets, too. It's such a dark game. Use the nods here. Yeah, there's definitely something mo Oh, I think it's flesh. Flesh are like pig sort of things. They're like big round pigs. It's the best way I can describe them to you. <laughs> if you don't know, Stalker. Just huge mutated things. They're not too dangerous. But there are quite a bit of them here. I'm going to chase one. Try to kill it. Do they see me yet? I don't think they see me. The cats over there are a lot more dangerous, in my opinion. They're a lot faster. They're super quiet. Very hard to hit. Oh, here he comes. Oh, and he ran away. Come back, buddy. Come back, buddy. Where'd they go? There we go. Got one. Yeah, these things are a... Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh... This is just meant for killing one. Not four or five. <laughs> I mean, I've got the AKS and the Grok as backup, but... Ooh. That did not sound like a flesh. That one had meat. Okay, there's something up the hill that's definitely not a flesh. I need to grab this and move around it. That is some really good food we just got, though. I just need... I think I need more kerosene. Let me double check. I think I need more kerosene. Do I have kerosene? I do. Okay, I've got a few more uses. I forgot they're multi-use. Cool. What's also cool about this PVS-14 in Beef's MVG mod... Beef, I love you, by the way. This is such a good mod. You can click the gain up and down. How cool is that? If the screen is too dark, then you just brighten it up. If the screen is too bright, then you just darken it down. It's so nice, because there's actual, like, dynamic lighting in this game. 
sometimes you gotta adjust it. Sometimes the moon's out, sometimes it's not. And that's actually a real thing on night vision goggles. They don't click up and down like that, but they, they have like a wheel you can turn. Or night vision goggles are auto-gating, um, which means that they kind of automatically adjust to brightness. But uh, I'm not going to talk about that too much. I'll save it for the the dedicated night vision video. This is my favorite tower to go up. Just what a cool game, dude. Look, I can't get over this game. People have been telling me to play the main games. I have. I have actually played the main games. Um, my main reason for not making videos of the main games is just because I feel like they're... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm as interesting when I'm playing a linear game. I feel like uh, the footage just looks like everybody else's footage, you know? Oh yeah, there's a big ol' pseudo giant. That's what I was hearing earlier. Okay. He is super bullet spongy. I don't have enough ammo to kill him efficiently, so we're going to avoid that like the plague. I gotta listen for the cat calls as well. Make sure I'm not getting too close to the cats, because the cats were here earlier. And the game is slightly darker than what I'm showing on screen. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, okay. I think there was just something behind me. I saw it running. I'm just bolting down here. In case it followed. Which I don't think it did, luckily. There's more flesh off to my left. I could go after them. You know what? I think I might. We can get a lot of food like this. And we can sell whatever we don't need to eat. How much ammo do I have for the shotgun? Uh, 32 rounds left. Yeah. We can definitely buy some more later. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Oh. Okay, AK's out. Who is out this way? Who's this? Clear sky. I want to just grab the basic stuff. I don't know if these guys are going to... Okay, he's shooting at me. And these flashes are right here. And I'm getting irradiated. I'm going to... Do I have cigarettes? Crap, I'm still getting irradiated. I'm just going to drink... Uh. Ooh, I don't have anything easily for I have radio protectant. I can take that. I'm going to take some potassium. It's a really lightweight anti-rad. Oh, I'm hungry again. Oh, his, his feet are right here. It's a mech suit. He doesn't even see me yet. I'm just going to spray a full mag. He's still up. He's still up. Mech suit ate it. The mech suit just ate it all. I've got frags. Oh, crap. Yeah, so these are... Uh, Holy crap, that guy's tough too. Shit. I can hear the mech suit running around. I wonder if I can get a nade underneath there. Oh, he saw it. Holy crap, okay. He is just eating bullets. Oh, he's down. His friend's coming up, though. I wonder, I don't know if I was hitting his friend earlier. Oh, that's just a zombie. That's a zombie with armor. Okay, I should be able to just hit him in the head. Oh, it's an exosuit zombie, that's why. Sorry, bud. Ah! 
That was actually a really intense fight. Renegade, that's the that's the um the faction of this guy. Oh, those are the fleshes. Okay. I don't know why he was alone. I think they're friendly to zombies, so maybe he was leading that zombie around. That's not a bad SV-98. But if I carry it, I'm just under the weight limit, man. I'll carry it for now, but I don't think I'm going to be able to carry it for very long. How much ammo do we have for the AK now? 113. Okay. That's still... That's still a lot. That's That still is a good fight or two, especially if you don't run into any more exosuit guys. I knew once that thing was a zombie. Here, I'm gonna quick save really quick. Oh, shoot. I ran out of matches. Oh, well that adds some intensity to the... <laughs> I, ran out of, I can't start a campfire, which means I can't quick save. Alright. Okay, game. I see how it is. Victory favors the prepared mind, and today we are not the prepared mind, so we'll see how this rolls. Hard difficulty, baby. I'm very lucky that the exosuit guy did not hit me at all. But every time I peeked him, got to admit, I was spraying <laughs> like 20 rounds per second of 545 FMJ into his armor, so I bet he wasn't able to aim very well. Okay. Bandit camp's on this right side here. So I'm going to go left. Because I don't want to deal with that at all. It is filled with... Uh, probably 30 bandits. Maybe 15 at least. What the heck was that? What am I looking at? There's snorks there. Maybe I can't move left. It's either Bandit Camp or the Snork. I'm gonna go for the Snork. I think it's multiple Snorks. Can I sneak around them? Oh, you know what? It's not just Snorks. It's not just Snorks. Oh, crap. I think those are the fractures. Yeah, those are different now. And I think they just spotted me. Whew. Oh my gosh. Over under, man. <laughs> this thing is a lifesaver. Thank the stalker gods that I have this thing. Did that guy have an adult magazine on him? He did. Dude, the zombie, the. Hold up. The irradiated zombie had a, a, a bunny magazine in his pocket. Think about that. How did it get there? What was he doing as he was radioactively zombified? You know? Mm. Ooh. Someone shooting suppressed really close by, too. I might go check that out. If we can steal some meat off of whatever they kill. If I can just scout it out, I think we'll be okay. Ooh, something just burst. <laughs> oh, zombies. Whoa, hello. Oh, 
Oh, go oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, there's quite a bit of zombies and now they're coming at me because I had to kill the dog. Cool. I need to heal too. It's a first hit. They're pretty slow though. They're, luckily they're not they're not the fastest zombies. I can kind of keep them at a good controlled distance here. Man, now I'm thirsty. Whenever you take medication, you get thirsty. It gets you hungry and thirsty. Are there? Oh my gosh, there's zombies really close. Okay, I want to see over this. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the bandit camp. I just wanted to get a peek. Like, who's at that fire? Is that bandits? Oh, that's a zombie. There, I think there's a dead bandit beside the zombie. The heck? Have zombies taken over the dark valley here? This is what's cool about the game, man. I've never seen this many zombies here. This is just totally random. Yeah, is there a body? Oh, that's a campfire. I can save here. Whew. Okay. Let's, uh, let's run through these. Oh, okay. Let's run through these guys. Zombies are not a huge threat as long as you just keep moving. They get they get lost after about a hundred meters away from them. After you're about a hundred meters. But yeah, I, I think that, you know, everybody should go out and take a hike at a at a park at night. Not not a urban park that's probably unsafe, but like a like a a park park. You know, an actual park in nature in an area with a rather low crime rate. It's a fun time. It's a good time. A lot of people don't spend enough time in nature or like go hiking, go hiking out back, backpacking into the wilderness, camp out at night, and you know, wake up in the middle of the night. Maybe, maybe hike a little bit during the night. Practice a little bit of that because it's fun and it's useful too if you ever need to uh, travel at night. You know, that's what I like about. Daisy, I was actually just streaming Daisy, uh, Stalker Daisy, Stalker Z, the uh, PvP server. And I was saying there, I really like Daisy for a specific reason, and that reason is because you can travel, you can choose to travel at night. I think that's one of the coolest things that games, other than, um, you know, one, ones that have actual day night cycles, they just don't have. Um, you never really experience that. Like, I want to travel at night, I have to wait for that moment. Um, I think that's super cool. So I wouldn't rerun our Daisy servers. We do have nighttime in them because some of them don't have nighttime. Uh, we do have nighttime, and it's not as long as day. I think we have it slightly accelerated, but you still have ample time to utilize that darkness, that limited perception across the board. And uh, yeah, I just I just like like it that way. Let's see the stash tree stump under hill. I think it said. Under, why am I clicking this so slowly or quickly? Near the hill. Tree stump near the hill. This looks like a tree stump. Near the hill. Basic tools. Kerosene. Nice. We are definitely overweight once this uh, buff wears off. But you know what? We can make it to the cordon and go store some of this stuff. So I think that's where, or no, actually that's garbage. Okay, yeah, we can go to garbage. Through any of these, that's to meadow, that's to garbage. Okay. Oh yeah, I was mentioning earlier in the uh, truck cemetery, you know, people have been asking me to, wow, that's scary. I did not even know these zombies were here until the flashlight hit them. Nope. No thanks. Um, people were asking me to play the main games. Oh, water's radiated. And I actually have. I played and completed Shadow of Chernobyl. I um, played and completed Clear Sky. And my opinions are very different from everybody else's, actually, about the games. I uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, I liked it. The story was cool. Um, but I felt like the game forced me into a lot of close quarter areas 
throughout the entire game, and I know I'm spoiled because of Gamma, but I really think that this engine's capabilities are best reflected in open world sort of uh, stuff. I think that the story that they told in Shadow of Chernobyl could have been told in the more strong parts of the game, which is that open world exploration, especially in 2007, having as big of maps and uh, all the all the life technology that those games had. I feel like the game could have been better designed even for 2007. I feel like it was really, really clunky. Um, the, oh man, the weapons. I, I could go for an hour about all the weapons in the game are super spready. You get tons of ammo. And the weapons are super duper spready. There's definitely games that did weapon design better about um, seven years earlier than Stalker. I was not a huge fan of the weapon design in any of the base Stalker games. Uh, but Clear Sky. I actually liked Clear Sky. I think its story was a lot more unique. I think its story felt a lot better. Um, still nothing that blew my mind or anything, but I really liked Clear Sky um, for different reasons than most. A lot of people act like Clear Sky is the weakest one. It might be. I just liked it better. I feel like it had the more uh, I'm a homeless man in the forest sort of vibe. I kept getting robbed constantly throughout the campaign. Did that thing just have a, a human scream? Or no. Whoa. The... The uh, Watchmen, I think those are called? Yeah, they're they're ambushing that flesh or something. But then, uh, yeah, Call of Pripyat. Call of Pripyat's definitely my favorite one. Clear Sky was cool. I liked Clear Sky a lot. Uh, but Call of Pripyat just takes the cake. It's such a refined version of all of the games that uh, I really liked it. And it's just, it's Call of Pripyat's basically anomaly. If you get down to the gameplay, there's very little linear sequences in Call of Pripyat. And the game is just find why the helicopters are crashing. And then you, when you find out why the helicopters are crashing, it, not to spoil it, kind of to spoil it, but it's not that big of a thing. It's it's a very realistic story, and I like that a lot about Call of Pripyat. Oh, this is a fun spot to spawn me in. Game? Game? Okay. Oh, it's saved here? So I can keep reliving this pain. Go, 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 go. They're right behind me. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I can't see. I can't see. There's two of them inside of each other right there. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. No. No. Bandage. Oh my gosh, I was so close to death. Keep going, buddy. Why did they run away? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Keep going, bud. You got this. Wow, everything's blue and green and red. Holy, the garbage does not mess around. Who's that? It's a merc. The merc just died to the pigs. He says, get over here, I'm bleeding out. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Where did you even come from? I saw your friend, but I didn't see you. Oh, oh, I, I just, I think I just accidentally walked into the, um, the travel zone to go back to Dark Valley. I'm dumb. Oh, jeez. Nope. It's still here. I think they just respawned. I think all of them respawned. <gasps> oh, I'm empty. <laughs> oh no, I am empty. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy dude. Oh my gosh. Uh, this game, man. Oh jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh. 
Okay. Can't see him. I cannot see him at all. He's military. Oh, he turned his light on. Push the left side. That's cool. Can I get him? Oh. Oh, there's still more. Oh my gosh. Do you see me yet? Oh, I hit him in the head. Yeah, his head's gone. I just, I shot above his head, first shot of that burst, and I just dragged the gun down during the recoil. Yeah, his head is actually gone. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that is a cool... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the first one of those I've seen. Okay. We're gonna go and uh, check out the other guy. See what he had. Kitoki, yeah, Dow 12. Nice. And a PPK. I've actually got a PPK. It is chambered in 22. Heck yeah. My, uh,. My great uncle gifted it to me after he passed, and it is a cool little pistol. It's the, pro the oldest pistol I own, and probably, I don't know, I don't think I, I'm not a huge old pistol fan, but that thing is cool. And I still need to med. Still need to med. <laughs> after all that. But we've reached a pretty good safe zone here. So I'm going to take my post meds. Actually, that's the wrong one, but I can't cancel it. That's alright. Take our... Yeah, we'll take our ibuprofen. We'll get totally healed up here. We need it. We're really drugged right now. Taking both of those meds at the same time. Not a very good idea. But we're in a rather safe spot. Oh. As long as we don't walk into an anomaly. And... I think we should be able to cook the food. We've got the fuel, we've got the kerosene. And we've got a fresh pig right here, just in case. Oh, nope, he's, he's dead dead. There's a few of them. They're all dead dead. Who's right there? Sounds like some bandits are on the south side of garbage. Luckily, we're up here, though. So if those bandits uh, come close, we've got a lot of guys. I don't know why you would pick this as your home base, by the way. I don't think this would be a good place really at all. Those are the bandits just over there. If they come this way, they're toast. I'm going to take cover here and cook my food. Let's see, we've got... Oh, we have four vodkas now. We don't just have one. So we can cook really, really good food again and again and again. Nice. Alright, cool. Well, that's enough food for a while. I'm gonna eat one of those. That's so what's nice. You kind of get on a roll once you get a good shotgun in this game. It allows you to take out those mutants really quick. You can take on a lot more at once. Even that last fight was a really good example of just how many you can take out. It's 3.39 in the morning. And, uh, these are the conditions. Got a rainstorm. Not hearing any thunder. I'm still a little woozy from the ibuprofen and the adalin at the same time. 
I actually don't know if Yadlin is an actual medicine. It is in Gamma. Oh, it's a morphine-based painkiller that first appeared in the OGSM mod. Okay, yeah, so Yadlin is just a painkiller of some sort. Like a morphine-based painkiller. And it, would, uh, it originated from a mod for the game. That's cool, though. There's a lot of things in this that you'd expect to be in the main games, but they aren't. They're not at all, and you just have to kind of wonder where they actually came from. Um, also a detail I'm noticing is that the droplets on the ground bleed into my foot texture. <laughs> I don't know why. If I go walk on this thing, though... Oh, no, they do. They still do. That's interesting. Uh, da, comrade, whatever you said. Okay. Um, probably should go sell this meat. So we're going to head over to the uh, garbage trader in the barn. Because he spends the most for mutant meat and mutant parts. Other than the scientists. I just saw a flashlight up here. Don't know where it came from. Oh my gosh, it's really dark. Yeah, this is pretty realistic night vision. Um, in a storm like this, because there's not any really direct lighting. It's almost like, this is actually very realistic. It's almost as bright as, um, as just wearing naked eye. As not having nods on at all. Sometimes nods are just, there's so little light. Which right now we're actually getting some ambient glow from that. But I think the sun's rising. <laughs> Two Psy Suckers? Really? Holy crap. Shit. Holy. Oh. No. Oh. Dude. Dude. That was the best jump scare I've ever had in this entire game. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I haven't seen Psycho Suckers this life, apparently. Ooh. Holy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Well. That was, um, one of the most... I'm like, I'm like tearing up. That was so funny and scary and I have just emotions, man. I love this game. That was a good time. Holy... <laughs> oh, look at the puddles. Look at the puddles of the screen space reflections in the puddles. Oh, the game is so good. The game has come so far. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go rewatch that, dude. That's gonna be the funniest part of the video. Man, I bet that jump scared so many of you guys watching on your big TVs in your living rooms. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're up at 2 a.m. in the morning, aren't you, and you're watching this video. You just you just regretted watching this video. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments if you needed a new pair of underwear. I'll cover the fees. I'll cover the Hanes. Uh, Fruit of the Looms, maybe, if, if you're... If you've been a subscriber for more than a year, I might, I might, might get some fruit looms, you know. Oh, the job is done. I had a job with you? Okay. Oh, okay. I had a job with you. Cool. Any work you want done. Suit a dog meat. I don't have the ability. Hey, I'll say yes to that. I'll sell you all of these things. That is a bunch of money. I'll sell you the adult magazine. Heck yeah. Holy dude. Oh my gosh. Whew. I can dump all this. I'm not overweight. Thank the Lord. Thank Jubus Christ Almighty. Oh. <sighs> all right. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm still 
coming down from that right now. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Stealth cats. Oh, there's a few of them. There's a few of them. Oh, jeez. Just grab the pistol. No, no, no. Wrong button. I meant to grab the pistol. I meant to grab the pistol. I meant to grab the pistol. There's another cat. There he is, I see him. Those are snorks. Those are snorks. Nope, go back inside. <laughs> Those are definitely snorks. Ooh. They just eat nine mil, man. I need to switch back to the shoddy. Oh, he, oh my gosh. It's like bad net code movement. Did he kill that guy? He just did. Jeez. Oh no, he killed the dude here. Wow. That is quite a bit of snorts. Jeez. That was... What? There's so many. For the garbage especially, this is... A crazy amount of these. I guess it is nighttime. Nighttime usually spawns higher levels of mutants. Rest in peace, buddy. As I grab stuff off your body. Yeah, nighttime is uh, pretty high in terms of mutant spawns, and my character is tired. Um, I think I might just hold it off with some caffeine pills, maybe. And dump any ammo we don't need into here. Ecologists. Okay, cool. There might be a chance of a uh, artifact here. Yep, there is. It's just in the middle of that. Hmm. Do something. Go over here and quick save on this fire really quick. There you go. And let's see if we can reach this artifact somehow. Looks like it gets into that very certain spot right there. Come on. Yes! And plop that in there. Cool. Free itcher artifact. Not bad. Let's go see if one's over this way. There's another chance of... Yep. Cool. Oh wait, I actually don't have a container. Ooh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to hold that one. Never mind. Don't have a container for it. Ooh, hello. Okay, this stash is just up here somewhere. Just to my right, looks like. The sun's coming up. Ooh, come on, where's the stash? Is it right? Oh, it's just behind me. Is it the stump? Oh, no, it's a hole in the stump. I see. Nice, an SKS. Okay. An SKS, an APS. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, we have enough weight. We can carry everything here. Sweet. Alrighty, guys. Well, my character, as per the bed icon at the bottom left, is getting tired. That was a single night in Stalker Gamma. Thank you for the free artifact. Whoop. A moss artifact. Nice. But, uh, yeah. That is what a regular night in Stalker Gamma is like. I wasn't really focused on any sort of task in particular. I didn't, uh, do anything that I wouldn't usually do. 
That's just what happens in a single night. You travel around, a lot of sneaky stuff, a lot of close calls, a lot of pigs. Um, and if I dare be corny, a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know if you like this stalker video. I always like playing Gamma. always like coming back to it. So, yeah. Let me know. I'll see ya. Bye.